What is up YouTube? Trifecta Sports back with another video. This is Isaac once again and today I'm doing another TTM recap video. It's been a long time since I've actually done a TTM recap. Um, it's actually been like almost probably close to a month. It's been I know at least three weeks because I, I actually went to Nashville to see my mother, she is at uh, Van Vanderbilt uh, Hospital. She went through a stem cell transplant because she has a cancer called multiple myeloma, and she was there for the o over 30 days, and she's still there now. Hopefully, she'll be coming back home tomorrow, which is a good thing. So, like I said, I was in Nashville seeing her over the holidays, and i seen her through Christmas, and then I came back before New Year's, and this is the first uh, TTM recap of the new year. Since I was gone for 11 days, I actually received a pretty good load of TTMs. I actually received, I think, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven TTMs. All right here. So, let's get started with the first one I received till the last one, pretty much. So, the first one is a one of one from Lexington, Kentucky. Um, this is actually a, um, a, he's a rookie in the MLB of last year, um, pretty much. This is a, uh, he's just now doing, I guess, TTM. Someone actually found his uh, address and not many people know about this, actually. There's just a couple people that I actually knew and watched videos of actually got this, um, it actually got his address, so I finally found it on a website called sportscollectors.net. So, and it's no other than Miami Marlins uh, shortstop, JT Riddle. As you can see right here, JT Riddle, rookie, last year signed it in black Sharpie. Came back, I think, in seven days. So, like, a, I'm from East Tennessee that most of y'all know. So it took us a week to get back in return. So thank you, Mr. JT Riddle. Appreciate it. Okay, the next one is a, uh, I guess he's an NASCAR Hall of Famer. Probably one of the best of all time. Uh, it's a pretty much a three and one. Took five days from Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's no other than Bobby Allison. And this is actually the card that I sent him to sign originally. And he signed it in black sharpie, and he also sent me. This is the most stuff I ever received in one fan and one TTM. And he also sent me this. It's a select signature series 2017 Bobby Allison card. It's from I guess Panny. I think that's how you pronounce it. He and it's also signed in black sharpie. So he actually sent me this. Not only that, he also sent me a little looks like a like a postcard sort of. Um, as you can see right here and on the back it sh talks about his address and stuff you can uh, you can read that and he also signed this in a blue I guess I think it's actual autograph in a blue sharpie as well I believe and, um, and he also sent me those are the three autographs he sent me and he also sent me this pretty much uh, pretty much I guess something you can actually buy, like some of his merchandise that you can actually buy of autographs and stuff and stuff like that. And he sent that as well. But three of one, you cannot beat that. Three autographs sent, like, so like I said, I sent one card. He sent me like a little postcard. And he also sent me a 2017 select signature as well. So very cool to get this. Awesome return. Thank you, Bobby. Alrighty, moving on to the next one. This is a um, one of one, took 11 days. He actually put at his return address on here. And it's uh, no other than, I think I have his, his, I'll be right back. It's actually Greg Gange, I think I pronounced his name. Uh, former, uh, MLB player, and I actually let him sign this right here. Hopefully, y'all can see it. 
this is I'm just trying to start a collection here of TTMs and he actually signed this one right here you can barely see it probably but he, act he actually signed down here below my finger hopefully y'all can see that but Greg Gange thank you so much for the TTM return so I'll put that over there and moving on I gotta keep these in order here. Okay, the next one is a one of one. Took 17 days from Denver, Colorado, and it's no other than a uh, Hall of Famer Goose Gossage. I think I pronounced his name. Uh, MLB Hall of Famer. Um. I know that you actually have to uh, pay to get his autograph. I was very lucky to get it back in return. As you can see, he signed in blue pen and he put inscribed Hall of Fame of 2008. And yep, awesome return. You actually have to pay for him. And I actually, I mean, it's kind of a bad way to do it, but um, I pretty much told him I was like 13 years old. So do what you gotta do to get a free autograph. I mean, I think you have to pay like $20 to get his autograph, but I actually got it for free. I mean, it's bad to lie, but yeah, it's, it's, it was worth a shot. I probably won't do it here on out, but it is what it is. So, Goose Gossage, thank you so much. I sent him a pretty good letter as well. I mean, I, I just don't say here, sign my autograph or sign this card. I actually sent him, sent him a nice letter. Then I know that some people like Goose, you have to actually pay for. And I just threw it in the hat, said I was 13 years old. It's probably bad on my part, but it is what it is. So, um, next one. Probably my best return, one of my favorite returns, probably one of my favorite basketball players to ever play. It was Shaq when I first watched, watched NBA. It was Shaq. And then this guy right here, it's a one of one, 29 days from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. And it's no other than Dirk himself, Dirk Nowinski, which is called German Jesus. Um, Dirk Nowinski, like I said, my favorite player to ever play. He plays for the Mavericks. I think he's in his 20th year, 20th season. Um, a future Hall of Famer, probably by far the best powerful, one of the best power forwards to ever play. I think, I think in my opinion, top five. So Dirk Nowinski, awesome return. Took 29 days, almost a month. So glad to get this back. So that is Dirk Nowinski. Let's see, let's see. And I got two more. This one right here is from New York, New York. Took 10 days. It's a two of one. This is no athlete. Um, this is actually a YouTuber um, from New York, New York. Some people might already know. It's no other than Zach Hamble, as you can see right here. Zach Hamble, a YouTuber. Um, pretty much goes to a every major league ballpark. He is pretty much like a role model for me because he's doing what I want to do when I get older. Um, he pretty much, he goes to every MLB game pretty much, goes to every stadium. He's been to every stadium and he collects and he catches baseballs either from someone pitching it to him or a foul ball or a home run. This guy right here also uh, grabbed A-Rods, um, I think 3,000 feet, I think it's how, I think it's what it is. Um, or 2000, I can't remember. Anyways, um, Zach Campbell, YouTuber, he, and on the back here, this is a this is one of his business cards that he actually sent to me. Has his information on it, and then you can see he signed uh, his name, Zach Campbell, and it has his total ball count of ten thousand one hundred and sixty three baseballs. Now that's a lot, of people. I mean, I don't know about you, that's a lot of flipping. This is Major League Baseball that he's caught either from batting practice or like I said, someone throwing it to him, like a, a player or a coach, or he caught a foul ball or caught a home run. Um, 
like I said, he's been to every stadium and one of my favorite YouTubers as of now. So hopefully one of these days, Zach, um, I'll be able to see you one of these days at a baseball game because this summer, people you might know if you watched the very first, our very first video, we talked about going on a baseball trip, upper Midwest swing. Um, we're going to Pittsburgh, we're going to Chicago, we're going to Milwaukee, Detroit, and what's the other one? Cleveland. So, uh, five cities, uh, six ball games in a matter of eight days. It's going to be crazy, but hopefully we can get it done. So, Zach Campbell, thank you. And this is what I actually sent him. I printed out a picture, and he said, uh, for Isaac, Zach Campbell, and it has his total count as well. And then finally, last but not least, another NASCAR Hall of Famer. It's a one of one, 12 days from Columbia, South Carolina. It's no other than Kel Yarborough. I think it's how you pronounce his name. Um, like I said, NASCAR driver, um, Hall of Famer, probably one of the top five, probably top five best of all time. And he signed it in blue Sharpie. Hopefully you can see that. It says to Isaac and has his signature as well. So that is it with this um, recap. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, press that like button and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace out.